Hello, my name is Boy Blam, and today, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, I'm not ready to do this again, but here we go. So I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. It's the devil. Really? I wouldn't have ex ex expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, that's, why's that? Well, I just... Okay, it's creepy of how they stare at me. It's creepy of how they stare at me. I'm closing my eyes. Nope. They feel like they want to eat me or something. Nasuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? But what? What gives you the, that idea? You left, a, you left a piece of scrap of paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Hehehe, <laughs> hey, your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh, <laughs> Sayori sides sidles up behind Natsuki and put her hands over her on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh. Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Asuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart do you have writing experience experience too yuri maybe if you share some of your work you can set an example and help nasuki feel comfortable enough to share hers uh, i guess it's the same for yuri Sorry, my voice is... Aw, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. Get away from me, you freaking satanic turd. Sorry. I have an idea, everyone. Nasuki and Yuri looked quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then the next time we meet, we'll, sh we'll all share them with each other. That, th that way, everyone is even. Um, yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Boy Blam? You need Jesus, girl! But yes, maybe it's true. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on, there's still one problem. 
Eh, well, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club and bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori have may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um Okay, I'm not here to make everyone sad, but this is creepy. I lose my train of thought. Awful gr four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes full of hellfire. B but I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Boy, boy, am you all? I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? This is, if writing poems is the price, I need to pay in, in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One, of the, one, of, one by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, just jumping up and down. Hey? You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super... Then that makes it official! Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assess assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. You need Jesus! You need Jesus! Okay. Boy Blam, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oh. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the ang anxiety. Yup, I feel it too. The anxiety uh, welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nasuki clean up their food. Hey, boy, Blam, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together, hmm? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way? My mind wanders back and forth between the fourth girls. Four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and the devil! Well, I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls that knows the devil. Alright. I'll just need to make most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight uh, I don't want to write poems hate poems well it's that time it's time to write a poem pick words you you think your favorite club member will like something good might happen with whoever Likes your poem the most. Oh god. Let me save the poem part. Uh, here. I'll put it in page one. Okay, now it's your turn. Alright, well, let's see. I'm lazy. I'm a gamer. I like candy though. Alright, I'm I'm oh uh, these are Okay, I, I am kind of lazy. Um, I 
I laugh a lot. I'm wonderful. Um, I become broken when I'm sad. Uh, I just sound. I landscape. I have happiness inside me. I kind of play. I, I eat sugar candy. Um, I enjoy the summer. Um, Doki Doki. No, I'm always I'm always lucky and flee the facility. So, yeah. I'm I'm a bit clumsy. Um, I enjoy playing video games. So headphones. Oh, games. Yeah, games. Oh, Nasuki. You like games, too? That's cool. Uh, suicide. Oh, no. Uh, I just put to, to tears. How about some tears? Uh, does anyone like bunnies? Okay. Can I, oh, can I give you guys some passion? Passion. I'm gonna go a bit shopping. Chocolate's good. Um, I embrace. I think Sayori's the one who's gonna get it. Hi again, boy, Blam YT. You're the devil! I speak of the devil! Stay away from me! First of all, let me save. When. Actually, I need to overwrite. I actually do need to overwrite. Maybe. Alright, let's return. Okay. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club just to relax, eat cupcakes, read everyone's poems. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, boy Blam. I hope this isn't too overwhelming a uh, commitment for you. Make yourself dive headfirst into literature when you're not uh, cos costumed to it. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me that you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take a, us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. The end of it? Nasuki, you're you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her ma manga collection in her club room. Mm. Nasuki fi finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Nasuki plops back into her seat don't worry guys boy blam always gives it his best as long as he's having fun he helps me with my with busy work without me even asking like cooking cleaning my room how dependable sayori that's because your room is so messy it's distracting and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you, you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Boy Blam can be good friends too? Uh, uh, S Sayori, this is gonna get weird, guys. Cover your eyes if you don't like it. Hmm. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yori, Yori even brought you something today, you know. Wait, Sayori? Me? W what the hell did she bring? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's re it's really nothing. What the hell is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. 
Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation! Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. I'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. I won't make it a big deal. If you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. This, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like. Despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I won't. Just kidding. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected the devil to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and the devil are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is ram ramaging around in the closet. What is she doing right now? Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to uh, occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with the devil. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all, all the other clubs though. Mm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of the literature club seems too dense and intell intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm, that doesn't solve the problem though. And what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in in the first place if it's a literature event. So, it's more important to figure out who to get the people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they came, they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is talking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her del <laughs> deliberating, deliberating like this. That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love that. Would love to do that. Ah, you're, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. Uh, that works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Uh, cupcake, 
Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! Okay, too close. What? I opened my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Yep, I am. It's 10.30 p.m. in the in the night. Now that you're in a lit in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? No Mogeko Castle, no Grey Garden, no Wanda Nohara, no Mad Father, no Eve, no Witch's House. I play those dang games, come on. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true enough. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> Sorry. It's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. Ah! You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on the time? That's uh, it's a secret. Freaking knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around her at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair, it's sticking out all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a hairbrush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look at your bow. is isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. Try to wipe it off with try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Unfortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori? Why don't you think that... <laughs> Try that again. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh. Oh no, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the button. 
once you'll, you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Yeah. Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, yeah, I guess. Hey, be careful! The button might come off! Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button. Yeah, I'm close. Near her chest. Oh, God. This is, so weird. this is so weird. I'm sorry I had to do this. My brain told me to play these stupid dating simulator games. Why? I will brain this on you, brain. I like RPG anime games better than this. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I brought, bought it. Ugh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? Yeah, don't say that out loud. Anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. You... It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her... Okay, okay. No weird content? That's good! Yeah. That's so much better. Siri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Yeah! What kind of game is this? And why are you saying that? Like, it's a good thing. Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this and you take care of me than anyone else would anyway so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned stop saying all these embarrassing things I didn't say anything embarrassed oh jeez well anyway just focus on trying to keep to Wake up a little earlier. If only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Eee. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Ah, uh, but I was joking that time I'm gonna save I'm gonna save it here. yeah that's good all right return man it's impossible to tell with you sometimes okay everyone it Monica the devil of the egg of course call suddenly calls out why don't we share the poems we wrote now yay boy blam I can't wait to read yours yes yeah, same I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to achieve her poem. And by the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah, I did. My relaxing station ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Yeah, why did I play this game? It's so freaking embarrassing. I couldn't really find much in inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pulls out their poems. Sayori is, is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's prince, pristine handwriting from where I sat. 
Natsuki and Yuri we cre we reluctantly compile as well reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Alright. Bam. Alright. Okay guys, well How long was that? Yeah, it's only 30. I can Alright everyone, well, I'll end it right here. I don't know whose poem I'm gonna read, so yeah, I'm gonna oversave. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Get out of this hellhole. Alright, well thank you all for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe. Who should I pick to read? Mmm. -hmm. I don't know. We'll see about that. Anyways, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm sorry that this video got a bit weird, because you know. Alright, see you guys.